Good morning, you guys. Today for the letter T, we have t-shirt day and you get to wear your favorite t-shirts. So I thought it would be fun to learn about what um, or how our t-shirts are made. So this story is called From Cotton to T-Shirts because the t-shirts we wear a lot of the times are made out of cotton. And this shows us a little bit of how the clothes we wear are made. So it says from cotton to t-shirts. Do you want a new t-shirt? Cotton t-shirts are the most popular piece of clothing in the whole world. But what if you had to make the t-shirt from scratch? You would need to grow the cotton, turn it into a cloth at a factory, and then sew the fabric into a shirt. Do you want to see how it's done? Great! First stop, a Texas cotton field. Texas is the perfect environment for growing cotton. It's warm and dry with plenty of sunshine. You're in luck. See the pink flowers? They only appear for a day or two. Tomorrow they will wither and fall off. Small hard balls form where the flowers were. A ball looks like little leaves curled into a ball. Over the next few months the balls grow and then pop! They burst open revealing a fluffy white fiber. The cotton balls are now ready for harvest. Vroom! Watch out for the picker. It moves quickly row by row. It pulls the fluffy cotton ball from the plant. The picker also separates the ball from most of the stems and leaves. The cotton is then dumped into a ball buggy. Look over there. Do you see the big pile of cotton? The cotton is pressed together into a mattress shape the size, the size of a semi-truck trailer. Honk honk! A truck comes in. A belt in the trailer pulls the pile of cotton into the back of the truck. Jump in! This truck is heading to the cotton gin factory. At the factory, the gin removes the rest of the sticks and dirt. This machine also separates the white cotton fiber from the cotton seeds. The seeds are saved to make cotton seed oil. So because it comes from a plant, they have to put it through this machine to get all of like the dirt or sticks and everything out because it's going to be turned into a shirt for us. So they need to get all of that out before they do the next step, which is that the clean dry cotton is bundled up into bales. Another truck takes these bales, like these things here, and they're loaded onto a ship. Do you have your passport? This cotton is going to a factory in China. So sometimes we send things to other countries where they can help make it too. At the spinning factory, the bales are separated and blended back together. This makes a more uniform blend of fibers. Big machines comb the fibers into long strands. The strands are pulled and twisted together to make yarn. The yarn for t-shirts is pulled into very thin threads. A machine winds this thin yarn onto big spools. So it starts in these big bales, but then they're separated, and then they are turned into yarn, and then the yarn is broken up into even thinner thread to make cotton t-shirts. Now the yarn is sent to a mill. Here knitting machines weave the yarn into sheets of fabric. Some fabric is dipped into bleach, to make it bright white and other fabric is dipped into dye to color it. So if your favorite shirt is more like blue or green or red, the fabric had to be dyed for you to get it that color. But white is usually the way that it comes out or they dip it in bleach to make it perfectly white. It's time to make some shirts. A cutter cuts the cotton fabric and another worker sews the pieces together. The finished shirts are packed into boxes and shipped to stores around the world. Phew, that was a lot of steps. But thanks to, cotton farmer, to the cotton farmer, the factory workers, and the t-shirt manufacturers, you can now just go to a store and buy a t-shirt. Which one will you pick? Isn't that so cool? So all these people had to work just so we can get a t-shirt in a store like Target, or if we go to the mall, or we go to a clothing store. And this map is kind of cool because it shows you where they grow a lot of cotton and also where a lot of the cotton mills are. So this is a map of our world. We've seen this before. The United States where we live is over here. So here's some of the biggest cotton growing areas. It's in kind of like the south um, and southeast of our country. Like this part is Florida. These are like the Carolinas kind of and maybe Texas here. This is Africa, this is Australia, um, China is part of Asia and India, 
And that's where some of the factories are too, China and India. So we all work together to make some of the things that we use in our world, which is so cool. So I can't wait to see your favorite t-shirts and we also will get to play a fun little game on our Zoom today. So I'm so excited to see you all. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you on Zoom today.